you can't just submit a form and just think it's gonna send it off to the wind. You've got to fight. Yeah. As usual, SBA doesn't know what's going on. And this is really important if your EIDL loan is at Treasury. This particular detail is a little bit disturbing based on all the phone calls and all the things that SBA is reporting and all the things that Treasury is reporting. Trevor, take it away. It's so distressing. I found this completely by accident on the U.S. Treasury's Bureau of the Fiscal Services mm. website. And it's a quote about how the agencies that submit loans or debts to the Treasury for collection action because they defaulted, not just SBA, but other agencies do it, where Treasury says in pretty direct terms that the agency that referred the debt for collection has the authority to bring it back to that agency and take it out of collection at Treasury. Not only does this con contradict the SBA messaging, but SBA actually has it published on their website. Well, first I want to read to you the exact quote from the Treasury website, and Linda's going to put up a screenshot. For additional questions about your debt or the offset of a federal payment, you must contact the agency to whom you owe the debt. In this case, that's going to be the SBA. That agency maintains your records and makes all decisions regarding your debt repayment plan, refunds, and here it comes. Wait for it. Are you sitting down, Linda Ray? Do you have your crash helmet on? I am uh, sitting down. Removal from the Treasury <laughs> Offset Program. <laughs> oh. February 15th, the SBA updated some of their guidelines. And once again, with their terrible communications protocols, they didn't tell anybody about it. They just quietly slipped it in to the SBA's page called managing your EIDL, which unless you're somebody like me who kind of sort of knows where to look for it and actually have it bookmarked, the average small business owner will have an impossible time finding this page. And the guideline update specifically addressed the hardship accommodation program that allows you to request reduced payments for six months periods up to a total of two years to reduce your payments make it manageable so you can repay the loan, not default. And the SBA is acknowledging that you're facing some financial challenges. So they slipped in very quietly these changes, which included that you don't have to be current on your EIDL to request and be approved for hardship, where just days before February 15th, when they put this announcement in, mm. you had to be current, which made no sense to me as a lender. Can I read what's on the SBA website? You, 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 okay, try not to shake the table because you're shaking the camera, but I get the excitement. Go. You're also eligible for hardship accommodation program if your loan is in default more than 120 days late on a payment as long as it hasn't been sent to the treasury for extra collection steps. This generally occurs after you are 180 days late on a payment. Once treasury takes extra collection steps, your loan is no longer eligible quote, for the hardship program. And you must work with Treasury on any further steps. If your loan was already sent to the Treasury, you'll need to make payments directly to them. Do you see the faces of the two of us? How dumbfounded we are with these completely contradictory messages mm. between what U.S. Treasury is saying and what SBA is saying. And, and God help you if you're the kind of person to actually stayed on hold for three or four hours and got somebody on the phone at Treasury. We've already heard stories about what misinformation the Treasury agents are giving to people. You know, not the least of which is, well, if you want to make payments, you have to call the SBA. Which, by the way, according to this quote on the Bureau of Fiscal Service website at Treasury is actually accurate. If you want to repay the loan and or remove it, you have to contact SBA. But what happens when you call SBA, Linda? They tell you that you have to call Treasury. And here they're telling you in this screenshot that we just shared, the SBA is saying if it's more than 180 days, which is six months delinquency, all bets are off. They can't do anything except Apparently, they, they can. can. Well, let me ask you a couple questions again with the business owner hat that I wear and the loan officer hat that you wear. This sounds to me that it supports even more so to file a dispute because these types of contradictory statements are exactly how a business owner who has their own life running their own business to make a life and have a livelihood. And, and the SBA is not top of mind for that business owner, which is how the SBA behaves. Right. And the SBA acts as if the only thing you are worried about is your EITL loan. And Treasury has 
some gray area on how SBA can assist a business owner to reclaim. I'm going to say as a loan officer, I don't really see this gray area. If you read the sentence, it says removal from the treasury offset program. You have to contact the initiating agency for removal. That's for the, tra- the for treasury. Removal, as in removal. <laughs> As in to return it back to the SBA for regular services. All right, let's break it down to just common sense. What should someone think about now? What should someone do now with this information of these statements that are on each website? Two things. Yeah. First of all, if your loan is in repayment or if you haven't entered repayment yet, you're still in the 30-month deferment period. If you think everything's hunky-dory, we've said this multiple times before, SBA's communications cannot be trusted. So the first thing you have to do, if you're not sent to Treasury, and even if you are sent to Treasury, is don't trust SBA communications. A lot of this work, this legwork, you've got to do yourself, such as we've told people, our clients who hired us for our dispute package that we created, we told them, don't let the SBA tell you how much you owe in arrears. Do the math yourself, and I showed them how to do the math. Mm -hmm. But the second thing is, if you are at Treasury and it's past six months, you have to fight. You have to submit a dispute. But, you know, we, the people who hired us to help them with their dispute process, some of them already submitted a form, and I saw the forms, and the submissions were terrible. It's not how I would have done it, which is why they hired us, and what we're offering is completely I think a lot more effective. We haven't seen results yet, but I think it'll be more effective and as far as getting the story and the narrative out there. But you have to fight and you have to fight and you have to contact everybody and communicate with everybody you can. Here's another question based on other videos we've done where we have said, make a payment to SBA in the portal. And this is saying, do not pay us, pay Treasury. The SBA page is saying that. That the SBA page is saying, do not pay us, pay Treasury. My question is, you have been on the phone with SBA and with Treasury, and they both have said, if someone made a payment to SBA, they're like, great, no problem. Well, I've only spoken to SBA. I've never been able to get anybody on the phone to Treasury. No, well, actually, one of our clients one said, of our clients said Treasury. that I paid SBA, and they're like, great, keep doing keep that. Keep doing that. A treasury representative said that. But SBA has told me a couple of different times, if somebody pays us, Trevor, we're just going to send the money to treasury. To which I say, yes, that's great, because you have then a record of that payment to prove that you are not a deadbeat, Mm -hmm. that you should not be in default status for non-payment, that SBA's failures, of which this is just the latest one that we've discovered, God only knows what's coming on down the line, that SBA's failures with bad communications, contradictory instructions and guidance, insufficient guidance. Uh, it's just, okay. that's how you got All into right, Treasury down, in the first place. Breath. Okay, okay, take okay, a deep okay. breath, take a deep breath, okay. Whether you hire us or not, fight, fight and fight. Bring out all the resources you can muster because this is a terrible situation that you didn't cause. Are we gonna end the video now? If you need our help, <laughs> to file a U.S. Treasury dispute. We are accepting clients for our U.S. Treasury dispute package through March 31st. That's After it. that date, we will not be accepting clients for that program simply because we are moving on to other aspects of our business. Till next time.